So in the event that you simply get that feared open enlistment email from your boss, you've come to the perfect locations today. I will give you an inside and out breakdown of the various sorts of medical care plans. Fill you in on that medical care dialect. What is the deductible at any rate, and afterward attempt to assist you with leaving realizing which plan may be best for you. Presently, I'm not saying this will be the most thrilling subject, however I will give you a vital data to utilize. While contemplating what is happening, medical services can hugely affect this. All in all, for large numbers of us health-related crises may be the most costly buy. You make it any given year. So on the off chance that you believe your funds should keep focused, don't allow a health-related crisis to crash. You continue to watch this video. Okay. So for one thing, what is open enlistment? This is the point at which you need to conclude which medical care plan you will decide for the accompanying schedule year. Also, it's commonly November 1st through January 15th. Also, when you pick that arrangement, you're set for the following year, except if there's some significant occasion like a new position or kid. So it's, it's truly significant. You do a touch of additional exploration right now to pick something that may, you may be left with for an entire year. Alright? Yet, what are the various plans out there? The fundamental choices are HMO, Wellbeing Upkeep Association, PPO Favored Supplier Association, and HDHP High Deductible Wellbeing Plan. There are different sorts of plans accessible, particularly for those utilizing non-manager bunch plans. Be that as it may, today we'll simply cover these. Yet, before we dive into subtleties, we have to cover a portion of this essential medical care dialect. Most importantly, what is a premium? This is the very thing that you'll pay every year. Just to have protection. Typically, this will come out of your check. Also, businesses ordinarily cover some part of this cost, like around 70 to 80 percent. When it's all said and done, this is essentially your installment to have protection. Presently, what is a deductible? This is how much cash you really want to spend on medical care. Excluding your expenses before your protection begins to contribute. Remember that protection care is by and large shrouded in full before you hit your deductible. So while discussing the deductible, we're truly working out the extra consideration you really want past those standard tests. What is co-protection? This is the level of medical care costs you pay subsequent to hitting your deductible, however before you hit your out-of-pocket, max many plans will expect you to pay around 10% of co-protection. For instance, after you hit that deductible. So what is cash-based max mean? This is the most extreme measure of cash you will spend cash based on medical care in a given year. This incorporates your deductible, yet all the same not your premium. After you hit this greatest, your protection covers 100% of your medical services costs. So when you hit that using cash on hand, max, you can go ham on medical services costs. All in all, don't actually do that. What is a cop pay short for co-installment? This is a proper sum that you pay for covered clinical benefits. The leftover equilibrium is covered by the insurance agency. A typical situation with this is like, when you go to the specialist and do a $20 copay each time you see that specialist. However at that point you pay nothing from that point onward, it's simply that level charge. Good. So now that we moved that essential language, we should dive into the insights regarding the various kinds of plans. What's more, we'll begin with the HMO. The HMO expects patients to pick an essential consideration doctor who then, at that point, handles every one of the suggestions and references to different experts for extra consideration. If necessary, the expenses will quite often be low or for HMO plans since they have extraordinary concurrences with specific medical care suppliers, yet they have more limitations also on the grounds that you need to begin with that essential consideration doctor to truly do anything more. A major interesting point this is the way much you care about adaptability with that medical services choice. Would you like to have the option to see an expert without having to initially get a meeting with that essential consideration specialist each and every time? Provided that this is true, it very well may merit paying something else for the following arrangement. I will discuss the PPO. So the PPO Favored Supplier Organization Association is the most widely recognized kind of healthcare coverage plan by enlistment. 
Also, it permits you to find in-network medical care suppliers, including experts with practically no kind of reference. The key with this arrangement is to remain in network, worked up, cause assuming you leave network with any supplier, you'll probably wind up paying a lot greater expenses, and spend an excessive lot of your time alternating between the medical coverage organization and specialist. It's simply a cerebral pain. Furthermore, in my experience, you want to attempt to remain in network. Trust me, by and large, PPO plans have higher charges, however much lower deductibles. Presently PPO designs ordinarily require the protected to pay a co-installment each time they visit a supplier, or they should meet a deductible before the protection covers that case. Presently the deductibles are normally lower for PPOs. So it doesn't as a rule turn out to be a colossal expense to cover these underlying visits before the protection see beginnings, taking care of those expenses. PPO plans are additionally more extensive with respect to inclusion, including many administrations that other medical coverage projects could reject. So you might wind up getting to see a more extensive assortment of medical care suppliers in this sort of arrangement. It sort of seems okay why it very well may be more costly all things considered, isn't that so? So what is a FSA? IFSA is an assessment advantage account that you can use for medical services cost that normally accompanies a PPO or HM. Up this record is presented through your manager, and you contribute pre-charge dollars directly from your check to be utilized on clinical costs over time. The significant thing to be familiar with a FSA is that you need to choose during an open enlistment. So at the present time the amount you need to contribute for the entire year and it's a client are losing. So when you change occupations or in the year closes any cash you contributed, yet didn't utilize, it's gone now assessing an entire year of medical services costs and realizing you need to make sure to utilize, it could worry you, however with a little preparation and a couple of supportive spending hacks, you can undoubtedly make a FSA work for you. I'll speak more about this in a little. Simply a now HDHB is as well. The high deductible well-being plan has higher deductibles and lower charges yet ordinarily offers the capacity to use a HSA well-being bank account to pay for qualified clinical costs, utilizing pre-charge dollars. This is somewhat comparable way. The FSA does this arrangement is the second most normal sort of healthcare coverage plan after PPOs. Also, they're like PPOs in that you can by and large find in network experts without a reference, yet the organizations for HDP plans will more often than not be higher so you will generally have more choices for what's considered in network. As per the IRS governs, an arrangement is viewed as high deductible. In the event that it has a deductible of something like $1,400 for a singular arrangement, or $2,800 for the family plan. Additionally, the cash-based max is covered at 7 k for individual plans or 14 k for family designs. Presently these kind of plans will quite often incline toward the individuals who are less clinical costs, similar to somebody who's by and large sound and doesn't visit the specialist all the time since you pay lower charges, and afterward don't wind up stressing over the high deductible. On the off chance that you never see the specialist, notwithstanding, expecting clinical costs for the forthcoming years hard all the time. So you sort of need to bet on not having an excessive number of issues for that following year. However you could save hundreds or even a great many dollars by this arrangement whenever there's a decent opportunity, you'll have very little to no clinical costs. What is a HSA? A HSA is a well-being investment account that is just accessible. On the off chance that you have a high deductible arrangement and it permits the member to put something aside for medical services costs. This can be presented through your boss. Or you can open your own HSA as long as you have a qualified high deductible medical services forever. And you can contribute pre-charge dollars directly from your check to be utilized on future clinical costs. What's more, it's anything but a client to lose it like the FIA. Presently it's expense advantage. Also, that commitments to HSA are kept from your check pre-charge so it brings down your available pay of it. What's more, any profit inside the HSA are additionally not burdened whenever utilized on qualified clinical costs. Most HSAs likewise offer the capacity to contribute your commitments also. Not all HSAs give this choice, but rather it has become more normal. This is an incredible method for building a few long-haul investment funds for medical services expenses that you might have late throughout everyday life. 
Medical care costs are normally the main cost later in your life. So on the off chance that you can begin taking care of certain reserve funds presently, and afterward let them compound over the course of the following 30 or more years or oh this can truly add up. A few specialists say that the normal American couple will require about $300,000 to cover cash-based costs for medical services and retirement. That is a great deal, the IRS sets a boundary for the amount you can add to a HSA. So for the year 2021, you can contribute a limit of $3,600. That may not seem like a lot, particularly when you ponder IRA cutoff points of 6K and 401K restrictions of like 19,500. In any case, when you include the speculation choice and accordingly the influence of compounding with the tax-exempt withdrawals, you can truly begin taking care of large chunk of change for future medical care and not at all like the FSA HSA commitments and procure means can turn over every year. So it's anything but a utilization it or lose it. They can simply continue to add up. Accepting you maximize your HSA commitments every year for quite a long time through month to month commitments of $291.67 pennies. What's more, and accepting a 7% annualized speculation return, you could wind up with more than $160,000. Also, if you somehow manage to in any case contribute a similar sum every month, except let it sit in real money, simply making, suppose 0.1%, you'd wind up with around 80k. So this implies, by essentially contributing your HSA commitments and expecting a 7% return, you could twofold your future reserve funds. Presently this expects you maximize your commitments for a long time, however it's simply an incredible method for delineating the force of compounding. Also, assuming you've observed any of my past recordings, you know, I love the force of time and compounding. So how do you have any idea which plan is appropriate for you? Correct? You ought to likely separate it into three fundamental variables, premium deductible, and afterward from cash on hand, max, the premium is that month-to-month -month cost to you, correct? Regardless of whether your manager covers it. So a lower premium will normally mean a higher deductible. The deductible is the reliable expense. Assuming you have medical services needs. So you want to prepare sure you're to cover this sum. For instance, assuming you have the high deductible well-being plan, you'll pay lower premium things. Yet on the off chance that you need to get a blood test, for instance, you could wind up paying for everything of that test. As you should hit your deductible first, before the protection truly begins taking care of expenses, frequently a lower cost to you every month can mean a higher deductible and cash-based max as well as the other way around. So you need to weigh what appears to be legit something else for your requirements. Perhaps you get a greater amount of psyche from realizing that you're paying all the more every month without agonizing over, you know, covering a high deductible. For example, on the other side, assuming that you seldom go to the specialist, you may just want to save money on the month-to-month -month charge cost and chance the higher deductible with the high deductible well-being plan. On the off chance that you can truly develop that HSA also, this could be a superior arrangement for those that are youthful and saving. What's more, don't expect a ton of clinical costs now for that third element, the out-of-pocket, max. This is the maximum that you need to cover assuming you truly have huge medical care costs for the year. So you need to remember this. Presently I've just managed this main time, and that was the point at which we had our kid during 2020 a birth. And afterward ensuing evenings at the medical clinic can be really costly. So we wound up gathering this cash-based max, pretty almost immediately. Assuming we had picked an alternate medical services plan that had lower cash-based costs, we might have saved a huge number of dollars. In any case, assuming this arrangement has lower cash-based costs, it probably has different disadvantages like an absence of adaptability for in-network suppliers. There is additionally another element worth focusing on here, sort of a fourth variable, which we can consider the reward factor utilize your HSA commitments. Assuming your manager contributes a fair add-up to your HSA, which some do you should consider this arrangement. This commonly doesn't need you the representative to try and add to the HSA. So in the event that your manager will give you free cash through these commitments to use for future medical care expenses, this might be the central consideration, like 4 OHK squash commitments. In the event that you can exploit this free sort of cash, it's generally worth considering, okay, yet how would you even gauge your clinical expense? 
This is a major one, isn't that so? How can anybody truly realize the amount they'll spend on this? Like we'll always be unable to get you to that definite number. Yet there is a respectable method for doing this and how to contemplate this. What's more, it begins with your common costs first. So if you truly want to write this number down, begin with those costs that, you know, without a doubt you will consistently have throughout the following year. This incorporates month-to-month -month solutions, contact focal points, dental visits, you know, ordinarily double a year. Show up those copays. Also, are there any standard visits that you will make? Presently, assuming you consistently visit your essential consideration doctor for medical care checks, you can likewise include this expense, contingent upon which plan you're seeing. It is worth focusing on that precaution care is normally covered 100%. However, there may be a few situations where these tests don't really meet all requirements for that. Assuming you could require active recuperation, this is a one more repeating cost that you can represent who doesn't have that pestering injury that they continue to put off to get checked. Remember that in the event that you misjudge your expense and utilize the FSA toward the year's end, you might be scrambling to involve what's left in the record, correct? You may be astonished that a FSA can be utilized for things like sunscreen, over-the-counter medication, similar to Tylenol and all, and Amazon even has a HSAA page where you can begin taking a gander at what's qualified. You may be astounded to figure out the fact that it is so natural to utilize these assets last moment. So when you set up those common expenses, then, at that point, contemplate the high-end costs like medical procedures, or perhaps beginning a family. Many individuals are astounded that you're likely must compensation large number of dollars cash based for those birthing costs. Like we discussed, it's certainly not free for most medical services and tends to try and have a child. My better half and I thought we took care of this one, however wound up getting overpowered when how much bills coming our direction, even a year after our child was conceived. Furthermore, sometimes you need to visit an out-of-organization clinic that then, at that point, needs to fabricate the insurance agency. And afterward it's simply a wreck. You're somewhat the gal. I basically propose that you consider the very good quality your cash-based max, in what the future held paying. Assuming your in-network plans change NHSA or FSA is one of the pleasant ways of getting ready for this. So I trust that separates everything, and it gives you better comprehension of sort of what to do over the course of the following not many weeks or even a long time, during open enlistment. It's a truly significant choice. Don't FRE over it to an extreme. Ideally your manager has worked on this a piece, spreads out your arrangements in a really reasonable manner, and you can involve this video as a manual for somewhat get moving and settle on that significant decision. Much obliged such a huge amount for joining. I cherish for you to buy into our channel. Have an incredible day.